Hi there and as always thank you for visiting my channel. In this video we are looking at percentage change. So we are looking at how to calculate the percentage when something has either gone up in price or down in price and also where someone has made a profit or loss. Let's take a look. So this is the first example we're going to use and it's a situation where something has gone up in price. So we're looking for a percentage increase. So last year my flight cost £160 and this year it's £180. And the question you're being asked is what is the percentage increase? Well the first thing we need to do is work out the actual financial increase. So that's quite straightforward. It was 160, it's now 180. So if we take the old price from the new, we can see that we have an increase of 20 pounds. Now, this might seem strange at first, but although we are working with percentages here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to express this increase as a fraction. And we do that by taking the increase itself, which is 20 pounds, and putting it over the 160. It has changed by 20 from the original 160. Now that is a fraction. We are going to turn the fraction into a decimal and then into a percentage. And this is going to be the calculation. We're going to try 20 divided by 160. That is how we turn a fraction into a decimal and then to convert it into a percentage we multiply by 100 so this is our calculation the first thing we're going to do is 20 that is the change divided by 160 which is the original amount change divided by the original and if we do that we get 0.125 that is a decimal we want to change that into a percentage so 0 0.125 multiplied by 100 equals 12.5 and that is the percentage change so it is the change divided by the original multiplied by 100 let's have a look at another example so quickly reading through this, a store had 350 customers last week. This week it had only 290 and we're being asked to calculate the percentage change. In this example the only difference is that the numbers have come down from last week to this week. But actually the calculation is still the same. 350 minus 290 gives us the actual drop in customers in this case 60 customers we follow exactly the same rules we make a fraction by putting the change over the original which is 350 and don't forget we are then going to multiply that by 100 so 60 divided by 350 gives us an answer of 0 0.1714 and it does go on to a much larger decimal that's from a calculator we are then going to take that decimal and we are going to multiply by 100 just as we did before and the answer we get is 17.14 now the decimal does go on much longer but usually in a question we're asked to give the answer to two decimal places so 17.14 percent so even though the price has come down in this example we are still doing exactly the same the change divided by the original and multiplied by 100 now let's have a look at a situation where we are being asked to calculate profit so if we look at the question, John buys a camera for £50 and then sells it for 65 So the question, what is his percentage profit? And it is exactly the same scenario as a change in price. We are looking for the difference. So 65 minus 50 means that he made £15 
in profit. So let's express the fraction. It is the change in the price divided by the original price, which is 50. And then we're going to multiply by 100. So 15 divided by 50 is our first calculation. And the answer to that is 0 0.3. 0 0.3 multiplied by 100 to turn the decimal into a percentage gives us 30. So John made a 30% profit. If he had sold the camera for a loss, it would not have changed the calculation at all. It would simply mean that the percentage change would have been a loss, not a profit. I do hope you found that useful. If you did, please, as always, hit the like and subscribe, and hopefully you can come back and take a look at some of my other videos. Thank you.